today I'm going to make a smoked brisket without a smoker. Does that make sense? So I know I live in Texas and I don't own a smoker, but I don't go outside because it's too hot. So I'm going to make, I'm going to smoke my brisket in my oven instead. It's not exactly the same, but it's close. So I'm starting with a 12 pound brisket um, with the fat cap still on, it's on that side. I have my barbecue seasoning rub, which is another video that you can watch. And then I had to make a, a um, I had to put two pieces of foil together and wrap them up in order to, for it to be big enough to go around the brisket when we're done. And if you wanna see how that's done, I did it on my um, turkey, my whole turkey recipe, because I used this the same kind of thing. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start with a half a cup at a time of my barbecue rub. And we're just going to make sure that it's all over the brisket on every piece. And we will flip it over. You can see I'm even going to rub it into the sides so it gets the entire brisket should be covered with the seasoning. And I'm going to leave it with the fat cap side up because that's how I want to cook it tomorrow morning. I don't want to have to flip it back over. So in my oven at 250 degrees, this should take between seven and eight hours to cook. But you want to let the seasonings get in the meat overnight. So I'm starting it tonight with all my seasonings. And then we'll pop it in the oven in the morning. So the key to a, a good Texas smoked brisket is low and slow. So I've got the oven preheated to 250 degrees. My brisket has been seasoned overnight. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just going to drizzle it over the top. And three tablespoons of liquid smoke. Seal this up in all the tin foil. And we're gonna put this in the oven and we're not gonna look at it again for seven hours. So it took about eight hours, give or take, for um, the brisket to cook. So at seven, I came and I stuck a fork in it and twisted around and it didn't move. Now, if you can see, it's really tender to put in there and the fork just rips the meat apart. That means your brisket is ready. What I'm gonna do now, because I like what is called the bark, it's the outer shell of the brisket. Uh, truly, I like the burnt ends, and I would eat just burnt ends for the rest of my life if someone would let me. But we're gonna, I set my oven to broil high. We're gonna stick this back in for about 10 minutes and watch that bark appear on the top. So it only took about six minutes for that burnt end to start coming up so we pulled it out early um, another thing of note is I moved the rack up one so that it was right under the broiler which made the broiler it made its job easier the last step is to take barbecue sauce and I used a store-bought barbecue sauce but you can use a homemade one if you've got a recipe you really like or just a store-bought um, I haven't picked out a Kentucky bourbon barbecue sauce because I don't, he thought he would want to try it. So that's what we're using. And we're just going to slather this brisket in it, paint it on, and then we're going to put it back under the broiler just for two or three minutes, just until this um, barbecue sauce gets thick and jelly-like. But not, but you gotta watch it because there's sugar in barbecue sauce. If you let it go too long, it will scorch. And that is not a good taste of barbecue. So once it's completely slathered, there we go. 
And we're gonna put this back in for two or three more minutes. So three minutes with barbecue sauce under the broiler and it is perfect. Now, the most important part of your brisket is to let it rest at least 10 minutes before you start slicing it. If you slice it right now while it's still hot, all of the juice is going to go running out and you will have the driest br brisket ever. So wait, let it rest at least 10 minutes before you carve it.